Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe and notification button. So today we did a look with the Femme Rosa palette from um, ColourPop. This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, the shades, the name of the shades are on the back. And if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Hey everybody, so today we are going to do a look with foundation. So if you've been watching my videos this week, you see I've got an ongoing theme of not wearing foundation. And I want to do a look with um, a new palette I have. And I wanted to do like a full face of makeup. So we're going to dig right into that. So I have this week been... Like, well, this week. Not the videos you're seeing this week, but the week prior. I have been wearing foundation, um, but I'm noticing some things. And I don't know if it's because the foundation is old. Hmm. This little monster right here, which is absolutely complete finished foundation. Um, I don't know if that was getting old on me or what, but I, ha I also have not been wearing primers. So, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. So, I'm actually going to go back in to an old foundation that I absolutely love and see how it does me. How are you going to do me today, foundation? I'm gonna do you good. So uh, we'll get to that in a little bit, but first off, we're gonna get started with our eyes using this Femme Rosa palette. I don't think I have this palette. And then I looked at it and I was like, do you have that palette? I don't know if I have that palette. But <sighs> this is what the outside looks like. It says a she. She. And this is what the inside looks like. So it's really, really cool toned reds it reminds me a little bit of the blood sugar palette for those of you who are not a fan of Jeffree Star um, don't like his products I know my girl Gina um, it, she doesn't really buy his stuff but I think she would like that palette um, so we're gonna dive into that and see what we got. I'm going to put on um, my Eye Prima by um, The Rock. And we are just, uh, we're not going to go ham or anything, <laughs> but we're going to get into this. Just want to do a soft rose look. Soft. I want to be soft. All right, so we are going to set down our lid with, well, maybe I'll do it with my Urban Decay powder. I've got a little bit sitting right here because the shades in here, there's a couple that look like they will work, but they look like they have shimmer to them. So might as well just use what to got out. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this little shade right here and I'll put that as my transition color. Ooh, which is a pigmented. I can tell by the way you're picking up on my brush. She's going to be pretty pigmented. Now I did do a look this week with the um, Ooh La La palette. It's the new, it's got like hot pinks in it. It is fabulous. I love the look that came out of that. Um, you know, I was saying on one of my other videos, like I do looks and then I'm, I'm like, I know exactly what outfit I'm going to do that again with, you know, wear with. And um, yeah, I really get into it. I really get into it. All right. So I'm going to go into... 
I'm going to go into this shade right next to it. And I'm going to put that in my outer V and in my crease. So there's a little tighter grip on the brush further up to the top of the brush, kind of focusing on my crease. Yeah. as dark as I thought it would be which is okay because there's a dark like a plumbing color next to it we may use that for the, to add the depth to the look all right so you see this beautiful shade right here I really want to go into that but I may go a little bit more purple which would be this shade right here so we will try that out and see what we think See what we like. It's really not purple, it's pink. Looks purpley. This is with not my brush not being wet. I don't want it to be bam, bling, bong. I'm sure you could get a much uh, more in-depth look with just wetting your brush but I don't want to do that today I just want to have a very soft look I think I'm losing my voice from filming all right we're gonna go into that darker plum right there and we're gonna add some dimension to our outer corner like that like, and just like that, it all came together. Like, no time at all, right? This is definitely a good work look for me just because in the morning I am dragging. Dragging. Because these little heathen dogs, they just, they just don't know what to do. So I'm going to go in with my, um, could never say this it's like it's my YSL it's it's the one with the gold in it you see I don't even want to try to pretend to say it and I'm just gonna put that on my face give me a little bit of glow this um uh I can't think of the name of it Nyx has like a dupe for that I'll look it up and I'll put it, I'll put a picture of it in here so you can see it. NYX has really good dupes. They got a dupe, well, my nose is peeling. Sorry. How rude. How rude is she? All right. So the foundation I want to go in with is my, my um, Born This Way foundation which used to be a favorite of mine it was a favorite of mine I oh, know just just whatever do your thing do what you do because I just love the way this made my skin look but I've been so wrapped up in trying to use up products I haven't been using and this is actually my second or third bottle of it. I can't remember. I think it's my third. I'm putting it on with a brush. I'll probably go back in and kind of just pack it down with a beauty blender. I'll use this one. This is a Real Techniques the Diamond Blender. Just because I don't want to see the streaks. It's a good uh, winter foundation for me because it's a little bit lighter. Then I'm going to go into my Boy This Way concealer. It's not the concealer. Woo! 
like the old concealer. This is the new. It's the new concealer in the chub ch chub bottle. So we'll use that little diamond brush to get all of that blended out. And then we'll put some setting powder on here. It is a little bit light. That's okay. I'm going to go on my Urban Decay setting powder. Because we're going to use this stuff up. I'm like below half. Like down here. I'm going to turn it sideways. All right. So let's go ahead and put some powder on our face. I would do that because even though these foundations, say they don't transfer. They transfer like a hell on me. It's like a hell of a lot of transfer. And it's embarrassing. Like, you know, you see people you haven't seen for a long time, right? And you're going in to do the, the hug, right? And then... You look at their clothes and you're like, shit, I got foundation on them. You know. I, because I'm a makeup person, know that if my husband showed up with foundation on him, more than likely what it is. Because I know my husband and I know foundation. Some women are not into makeup as much as we are. I don't think they would have the same understanding. All right. just spray my face with some, with some of the Mario Badescu face spray because I want to let all this kind of sink into my skin and and do what it does yeah 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 we're gonna go back into the palette and kind of deepen up that outer eye because we kind of covered it up with some foundation and some some um concealer I'm just gonna pat that in and i'll blend that out in a minute it's just it's sticking more because my face is wet i'll put a little of that under my eye Oh. I have been like lathering up with moisturizer at night. Oils, all that stuff. My face is so dry. All right. Let's see if we got a shade in here that we like for our inner corner. We do. A little light pink, and we'll put that in, our, in the corner. Then we're gonna go ham on the rest of this face. I'm trying to do this rather quickly because this is what I do every morning. Let's go ahead and do my brows because, and I'll fast forward through this. I'll be back in a minute. You guys don't need to see this, you've seen it a thousand times. Actually, you may see this because I think I'm just going to do what I call my lazy day brow. Where I'm just trying to fill in the sparse areas. And I'll go back over top of it with, um, with the brow gel. 
and you know that'll kind of fill in everything this little brush needs to be cleaned bad that's why I'm getting crap all over my eyeballs okay Okay, then end with our brow gel really quick. Really quick, Susan. Like, we ain't got time for all this shit. Pretend like you're going to work. Let's see if my husband has texted me. Because he may want to come home. He has not texted me. Means he doesn't want to come home yet. <clears throat> Put some mascara on and then we'll do up the rest of our face real quick. Better than sex mascara. From So QVC is carrying Too Faced now. It's interesting. They got Urban Decay, Too Faced, and all that. I mean, it was interesting. My poor neighbors. They're really into their yard. I pay somebody for that. Not that I'm not into my yard. It's just not time. I mean, if I did that, what, when would I have time to film? All right, we're going to put a little bit of our bronzer on. I know you guys are so sick of this bronzer. You're like, can we, can we get on with that bronzer? I know. I feel the same way. I want to get on with it. And no kidding, believe I have filmed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos today. And I think we're going to stop at this one. <clears throat> Not that I want to stop, but I want to edit and I want to make the editing nice. And you guys deserve nice. I want to make it nice for you. All right, we're going to go back in and we're going to do that little color there in the middle though. We've been trying to pan that since. And actually, we're going to hold on for one second. Cole Guerrero Anastasia um, highlighter and we're going to go in with some pink here. And I'm probably going to do a kitty cat, which is right there. Put that on my face. I'll just take a little fan brush to do this because it is really when this came out I was like oh, that's so chunky okay then don't wear it I just don't understand why people have to be so critical seriously people it is different it's not as smooth as some of the other ones but it's like All right, Susan, get off the soapbox about shit. All right, I'm gonna take that um, little, oh look, I got some of my hair. It's just a little beauty blender and it does have a little bit of stuff on it and I'm just kind of blending that into my skin. That way it doesn't look so chunky and, and glittery and all that. I think it looks nice. If I say so myself, I think it looks nice. No. 
No, I'm not going to do that. Let's see what we've got. We have... I think I want to do that. This is Anastasia, and I'll tell you the color in a minute. This is... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is almost gone too. Leaking stuff. It like squirts out the top. All right, that was our hangover setting spray. Our little lip. And the name of the YSL was Touche Claw. I, I, I took five years of French, I can't say that. It's a blur primer. Then my Born This Way, I'm in Natural Beige Foundation. And then the um, concealer is Porcelain. I'm just telling you guys what everything is while we clean up. I'm like, I don't care. Here what you are. Mm. And then the ABH on my lip is the catnip color. So, yeah, guys, my drawer is is overflowing with stuff. All right, everybody. So if you want to, um, if you want to check out this foundation and you think that it's a little bit on the expensive side, I don't think it is. I think it's fairly reasonable. However, you can get it on either QVC or HSN and normally you can get it on like an easy pay, flex pay kind of thing. And people often ask me, how did you build up your collection? And I'm telling you using those stores and Beautylish is how I built up everything. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. I love you so much. Mwah.